Hello there, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up QEMU on Windows 10. I'm also going to show you how to set up the path environment variable so you can launch QEMU from the command prompt or from the PowerShell. Uh, all we need to do is download NEXE from the QEMU website and install that and we're almost ready to go. So first things first, load up a browser and head over to Google and type in QEMU and press on the downloads link and press the Windows tab and the 64-bit link and download the installer off this page. I'm going to download this one and save it to my desktop. I should have probably downloaded the other one. It's the more recent version, but for this video, it does not matter. Okay, so run that. Ah, if you get a box like this, simply right click on the installer, properties, and tick on the unblock button. Apply, OK, and rerun that. Should work, fingers crossed. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to speed up the video now to get this installer done quickly. Okay, so select your language and press OK. Next, OK, next, and install. Okay, brilliant, that's done. Press finish, and I'm going to load up a PowerShell um, prompt. And we're going to see if it work, if QEMU works in the PowerShell. So, QEMU, no. So we need to edit the environment variable and add the path to um, QBMU. So let's load up a folder, right click on this PC, there it is, properties, and click on advanced settings, and environment variables, there we go. So we're going to add to the path environment variable. Um, we need to now locate the QBMU installation folder. So C, Program Files, and QBMU. So let's copy that path and paste that into a new environment variable, into the path environment variable. So press new, paste it into there, and okay. So now we should have QBMU available from the command prompt or a PowerShell. So let's reload that. And let's try now, Q, QBMU image, there we go. Okay, so that works. So I'm going to now install Alpine Linux on a virtual machine with QBMU to demonstrate. So let's head over to my folder where I store my ISOs. Uh, D, there you go, LS. Okay, so I've got the Alpine Linux ISO there. So we're going to use QMU to install that now. So, wrong one. We need to use the 64 bit. There you go. And now we're going to tack boot uh, D and uh, set the CD ROM drive to the Alpine Linux ISO. Okay. I'm going to give it 512 megabyte RAM. So this will create a virtual machine that launches Alpine Linux with 512 megabyte RAM. Oops, no it won't. I've made a typo. Let's remove the S from there. Okay, and enter. And there we have it. QEMU has loaded a virtual machine, Alpine Linux. So let this run through. With any luck, it should completely load and that's the tutorial done, hopefully. Okay, there we go. Yep, it's all installing. So I think that's it then, guys. Hopefully, you've learned how to set up QBMU on Windows 10. If you like this video and it's helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up or comment uh, or even share on social media. That'd be great, guys. Thank you very much. Goodbye.